Welcome back, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I super appreciate it. We still have four more games left to go, but again, those four games are not ready to be actually reviewed yet. And who knows, we may be taking a break from this marathon, but in due time. This week, though, I love Zelda Dungeons, and I think they're the best part of Zelda games, but what are my favorites? I decided to make a list. Here's my top 10 favorite Zelda Dungeons of all time. Number 10. The Tower of the Gods, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Probably the best dungeon in Wind Waker, the Tower of the Gods. It's just so freaking cool. Dude, I love every time I go in here, every time I play Wind Waker. Sure, there are some fun and pretty memorable dungeons, but to me this one's the best in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I think it just exemplifies what Wind Waker is, but also I kind of wish there were more dungeons like this in Zelda games, because this one is just straight up awesome. Number 9, Catfish Maw, Link's Awakening. There are some fun dungeons in the Legends of Link's Awakening, but to me the Catfish Maw is so awesome. I am a big fan of water dungeons in Zelda, and I get why people say that it's slow and they honestly don't like it. This dungeon to me though is so bright and colorful and the music is just awesome. I love coming here every time I play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It is just brilliant. Number 8, The Ice Dungeon, Zelda Link to the Past. Yeah, I get there are better dungeons in A Link to the Past to some people, but I love the Ice Paws. When you have all the equipment, this place is no big thing. So just looking into it, the music is good, and I love the boss as well. I really haven't mentioned bosses in this. This boss just looks cool, and it's just really cool how you defeat it. This dungeon is so awesome, and I love it so much. Number 7. The Spirit Temple, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I feel like people are going to get upset at me by putting this one at only number 7. But I don't think this dungeon is that incredible in the game, but I do think it's one of the better dungeons in Ocarina of Time. I think the mirror puzzles are awesome, and at the same time everything looks bright and colorful, and the music is just amazing. The boss is pretty cool as well, and this has to be my second favorite dungeon in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's just so amazing. Number 6, The Great Palace, Zelda 2. Wow, number six down, really? This dungeon just sucks butt. No, no, this dungeon is really good. I was actually super impressed with this dungeon. Honestly, it was a super hard final dungeon, but it is manageable, and that to me is what makes it such a good design dungeon. I also think the last two bosses in this game are super cool. Not only that, I like the music and the graphics for the NES are just so amazing, which is why I put it on this list, and why I put it so high. Number five, Snow Peak Ruins. Twilight Princess. Another ice dungeon. I love this dungeon so much. It's the best dungeon of the game. I love the fact that you get a cool weapon in here and the fact that you're in the mansion and the boss is freaking creepy as crap. Like seriously, she seems like so nice and then- Oh jeez! This dungeon is just brilliant. I love it so much. I apologize for the footage. This was recorded back in 2013. Number 4. The Stone Tower. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I think people will pretty much agree on this one. This is one of the coolest dungeons in the game, but not only that, it's one of the best in the series. The music is brilliant, and the concept of flipping the dungeon upside down is just so cool. And the boss fight is so awesome. To be as a giant is just so cool. Oh my goodness, it's freaking amazing. I love the dungeons in Majora's Mask, but this one is awesome and definitely stands out. But I don't think this is the last Majora's Mask dungeon to be on this list. Number 3. Divine Beast Vaharuda, Breath of the Wild. Another water dungeon. What the freak, Dallin? Well, this is not the last water one. I like the fact that these dungeons are pretty well thought out. I just think this one appeals to me so much more than the other dungeons in this series and also in this game. The boss is also super fun with the sense of reward you get from finishing this dungeon. It's just such a good feeling to me and this was the best feeling that I was finally getting done with my journey in Breath of the Wild. Number 2. The Great Bay Temple. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I will say collectively Majora's Mask has the best dungeon slash temples in the series, and the Great Bay Temple is awesome. And I know what you're thinking, Dallin, the Great Bay Temple is so dumb, it's worse than the Water Temple. I never found either bad, but I feel like this dungeon is so fast paced and so much fun. It's really the most satisfying dungeon in the game to me, because of the fact you save the Zoras by beating the dungeon. And you basically save rock. So yeah, this dungeon is so cool. The boss could be better, but the dungeon is so awesome to go through. 
No honorable mentions. The number one is... Number one, the Forest Temple, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, I picked the Forest Temple for a few reasons. First, I think the puzzles and the look of the dungeon, the programming of the dungeon, and the boss of the dungeon are just so brilliantly intertwined. I love this place, but not only as a kid, I thought that getting the three spiritual stones meant that the game was over. But nope, this place told you you're playing with the big boys now and does not care how you feel. The effects of the dungeon are so cool to the spinning room and to the fact that when an arrow gets shot, it changes the room. It's just so cool. This dungeon is so awesome and is what Zelda is all about. Hopefully you enjoyed my list. I know some people are going to get upset with my choices. Oh well. Finally, we get back to the Zelda game next week for Breath of the Wild. <laughs>